me speeding. I was right on the double nickel. Out of the truck with your license. Sure. You own this rig? Me and the finance company. <laughs> there you go. You got a kid in there? Yes, my daughter Annie. Daddy, where are we? It's okay, honey. It's all right. She's been asleep the last hundred miles. I got a load of shrimp from Tri-Southern. I'd, I'd hate for it to spoil. If everything's okay, can I get on my way? Okay. Bye. Not so fast. This here vehicular registration expired ten months ago. Oh, uh, oh, I was going to take care of that first thing in the morning. I was. Looks like Mr. Atkins here ought to have a talk with Judge Skinner. Follow us. Right. Never have happened if I wasn't driving the truck. Oh, that's all right, babe. We really want to have some fun. I'll let you drive us behind these cops. <laughs> <laughs> She insisted she had to see her daddy. Can you listen to a ten-year-old? Look, the door ain't even locked. Let's go, Annie. Sorry, Lana. When are you ever going to grow up? Come on, it's only expired vehicle registration. It's not murder. Hi, Al. Hi, Annie. Hmm. You almost look at a home in here, Bob. Sixty-five. Six. How much you need, Bob? A short nine bucks. One, two, three, four, and five. Why'd you keep ten, Bobby? Then it won't be broke. Oh, I ain't broke. I got four bits. Racing Sunday, Bobby? Not bad. I gotta win that purse money. I owe you nine bucks. You folks in the crowd have a chance to get something cold to drink, and we'll be right back with more racing action at Buffalo Park Speedway. Your attention, 250 class riders move to the staging area for the final qualifier. Sure glad Mom let me come with you because I just know you're going to win today, Daddy. You on my team? You can't lose. Oh. 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 Oh.
I haven't got time to go ahead here. I gotta get to the pits. Still missing a few numbers from the staging area. Let's go, riders. We'd like to get this race underway. I'm afraid you ain't gonna make it, Bobby. Uh, sorry I'm late, guys. I was on the phone all morning with Lana trying to get her let Annie come with me. You got ten minutes to qualify. No sweat. Well, keep an eye on Annie for me. We're just going for ice cream. behind him. <laughs> you, uh, dumping down that shock like I told you? All taken care of. Vicky Spots, Bobby. She'll go if you treat her nice. Woo! I gotta do this on be all day. Don't you try to write? Right. like you that are real menace. Can't stay out of your own way. Now, easy, hot shot. You don't want to get banged up any more than you are. 
Mr. Atkins, the doctor wants to take a look at your arm. Excuse me. Problem is, we're fresh out of bikes. This makes three this season. Yeah, I just figured we had a stretch of bad luck is all. Slow down a bit. It's going to take some time for this to heal anyway. Well, fact is, Lonnie and me have been talking about slowing down a lot. Also reckon men has been a little sour lately. We got to pull back. Uh, this just sort of decided it for us. Boy, I thought we were all pointing toward the July 4th Firecracker Supercross. We was. For sure, Bobby. But we're broke. And we're sorry. <laughs> They told me about it last night. I don't want to go, Daddy. It's okay. I'll go inside and we'll talk with you, Mama, okay? All right, come on. Annie tells me you're planning on sending her away to some boarding school, is that right? I don't want to go. Upstairs, Annie, and run your bath. Go. Well, is that right? That's right. The Green Oaks Academy. Well, why can't she go to Emerson right here in town like we did? Because Green Oaks is a better school. They emphasize learning. But she doesn't want to go. Okay, Bobby. It'll give Annie a chance for something in life besides being a cheerleader and marrying some football player. Look, Lana, you can't just up and decide something like this. I got a right to at least hear about it. Well, you're hearing about it now. Oh, is that right? Catch anything, Bobby? Beer? Look. Annie does not want to go to that boarding school. She's going, Bobby. Maybe I don't want to go. Come on, let me buy you a drink. I'd save you some breath. Look, Bobby. Lana's really investigated this Green Oaks place. It's excellent. I can afford it. We sort of hoped you'd see it as a good opportunity for Annie once you got used to the idea. <laughs> Terrific. Lana wants it. You can afford it, and I'll get used to it. Where's Annie come in? Only trying to do what's best for her. You know, there's a time we could have gone out behind the gym and settled all this. Result would still be the same. Lana can still lick the both of us. <laughs> yes, you're right. Now, I was kind of glad you were around when Lana and I split. At least you understand her. I never did. But I'm Annie's daddy. I always will be. I know that. Here goes the fishing trip, I guess. How do you do? 802. Teacher showing off. <laughs> How's that arm, Bobby? Oh, it's just fine. Matter of fact, I've been, you know, asking around, looking for a ride. In fact. Yeah. Jason, take her to the pits. Let's try those hotter plugs. 
Uh, look, Jesse, it doesn't have to be first string rider. I'll, I'll take back up. Never thought I'd hear that out of you. Bobby, I know you're good, but you're reckless. You ride like you left your brains in the closet with your Sunday shoes. You've been listening to Bo Wiggins. Now, you know Bo's running off don't mean nothing to me. I've seen that wreck and how it happened. The guy's got to go for it if he's going to be first. Yeah, I'll buy that when there's a chance to be first. But nobody ever won races by wrecking all the other bikes on the track. Jesse, I need a ride. Bobby, take some advice. Sit out for a while, take care of that arm, and get your head in shape. And then, I'll be looking for you. Take this off. <laughs> and keep it all nice and shiny and polished? Yep. All right, hey, now listen to me. I want you to go up there and work real hard. Make good grades, make me proud of you, okay? Yep. All right. Remember, I love you. Come on, Annie. We don't want to be late on your first day. There you go. I'll miss you. Oh. Besides broke. Oh, fine, fine, man. Always has got good friends. <laughs> hey, which one of those pictures is you, Scooter? You know, <clears throat> I've been studying on that for about an hour here. I see down the the guy with the with the crew <laughs> cut. I think that's me. <laughs> you ever miss riding? No, no. I I always made a better mechanic or setup man than I did a rider. <laughs> 
Hey, hot shot. What you doing here, hot shot? You know something, maybe this ain't hot shot, it just looks like it. <laughs> no? By golly, I was right. It's a genuine article, hot shot himself. <laughs> you better go. <clears throat> Have one on me, Scooter, eh? Right? Well, you're leaving all right, hot shot. I'm gonna kick your butt out of the door. Hey, 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 whoa! Oh, 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 Whoa, whoa! Uh, Get up here. Fat uh, 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 Fatso's having a little trouble standing up. Uh, Boys, I think he needs some air. Just take him outside. Come on, Bobby. It's all over. Come on. Come on. It's all over. You earned it. Sucker punch. Uh, uh, mm. He's got to weigh a ton. Roy. Same again over here. No, no, Roy, I, I, I gotta pick up Sissy. No, it's on the house. We're cold cocking that turkey, not busting up my joint. Can't beat that. Thank you, Roy. Good one. You sit down, have a drink. I'll do that and we'll go home, okay? Bobby, what makes you think that I want to go home with you all full of beer and self-pity? What are you so mad at me for, huh? I said I was sorry, didn't I? No. No, as a matter of fact, you never did say you were sorry. I didn't. You waste your whole day in here, drinking with Scooter, getting in brawls, that money that you don't have, and you wonder why I'm mad. Oh, you're right, you're right, sissy, you're right. I'm not worth the time or the effort. Don't give me that I'm a bad little boy act anymore. You're not worth the time or the effort. Bobby, get a job. Get some sense. When you do, I'll be around. Maybe. What are you doing? That's my rig you're messing with. Hey, calm down, friend. Give him the papers, Monk. It's all legal and filed with the courts. We're repoing your rig because you missed some payments. Let's go, Monk.
Sissy. Sissy, come on, wake up. It's me. What do you want? I missed you. I'll be drunk someplace else, Bobby. Sissy, hey, I'm not drunk. Honest. Look, I know everything you told me tonight is true. I do. And I'm sorry. Can you come outside? I gotta talk to you. Well, we gotta be quiet. Uncle Ernie's asleep. Cycle and busted my arm at the track. Would maybe it wasn't just bad luck. Well, hallelujah. Uh, now, what's with your truck? I repossessed it about an hour ago. What are you gonna do? First thing to do is get it back. Can't work without my rig. Can I borrow your car? I gotta go see broker. Oh, broker? Bobby, what do you want to get mixed up with that scum for? I don't, but I got no choice. What else can I do? You'll lock the door, otherwise people get confused. Come back tomorrow, smart guy. Broker ain't here. All right. Where is it? You want to leave, or am I going to throw you out? Who's that, Chico? Bobby Adkins. It's okay. How you doing, broker? Long time no see. Chico. You won't fetch me a bottle of my Chablis wine. You better mind your manners around Chico. I seen him bite old boy's nose off once. <laughs> uh, thanks for the warning. I'm here on business, broker. Having trouble with a finance company on my truck. Repoed, huh? Yeah, about an hour ago. Well, that's how they handle deadbeats, Bobby. You have to see how I handle deadbeats, amigo. You want to take a hike, Marshal Sue? Step into my office, Bobby, and give me a number. Fifteen, broker. <laughs> this ain't like you. You'll get it back. Don't open a bottle, Chico. Bobby's just gonna apologize for wasting my time and going home early. <laughs> I'm good for it. And go to a bank. They got better interest rates. They give you free calendar, too. I can't go to a bank. They won't talk to me. Well, what made you think I would? Because you're the broker. <laughs> Open the wine, Chico. And try to keep your thumb out of it for once. Sorry, Bobby. I'm all fixed up. Gus, I need to run bad. Things are slow. I'm all booked up. Honest. All right. Thanks, anyway, Gus. What's five times seven? Thirty-five. Don't you know that? Yeah, I was hoping I was wrong. I could work. Seven days a week, hauling everything I can, chickens even. And I might have a chance of breaking even by Christmas. Well, hon, I told you not to get involved with broker. Well, I didn't have any choice, hon. Ordinary working people like me have to go to broker. Now, if I had a big hard leadership like Bo Wiggins, or I was in the oil business like Al Singer... Oh, now, wait a minute, Bobby. 
Bo Wiggins' daddy did give him that car dealership, and Al Singer started out just like you, having... <laughs> what? Where are you going? Business meeting. Bobby, no big oil company's about to get into sponsored motorcycle drivers, least of all this one. I mean, shoot, you know how things are. Can't hardly get us to clean your windshield. Well, <clears throat> thanks anyway, Al. It's just an idea I had. Bobby, you having trouble making ends meet? Let me put it this way. I can't even see the ends, much less make them meet. I'll tell you what. Let's go to the club. When you say club, I thought you meant a real club. Let's stop loud. Come on, Bobby. You got to keep it up around 4,000. Do any good. 4,000? Are you kidding? 400 is more like it. Listen, Bobby, I'm sorry to throw water on your sponsorship idea. Oh, no, that's all right. I get a lot of big ideas. I think that's my problem. I think your problem is you've always had it too easy. What? Yeah, I know you don't like hearing it. Especially for me. And uh, I know you're in a bad patch right now. See, I'm talking about when we were back in high school. You got all the trophies, all the glory. All the women. It was all handed to you. So? It's a trap. You expect people to go on handing you things because you're good looking and can run fast as football. Or beat all comers on a dirt track. What? Do you think it's easy to make it big in bike racing? No, I do not. What are you telling me to do? Get an office job and wear a three-piece suit? Quit bike racing? All I'm saying is, be prepared to admit when you're drilling a dry hole and know when to dig someplace else. Hi, Broker. How you doing, Bobby? Fine, fine. Shade fell down. Come on in. Get you a drink? Wanna have a seat? I thought you were gonna give me some time to come up with the money, broker. Oh, just relax, Bobby. I come to do you a favor. How'd you like to get clean with me and make a few bucks on the side? By murdering who? <laughs> I got Chico for that, remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, sir, all you got to do is just hop in your truck and drive down to Miami. And what would I be hauling? Well, what do you care? Now, you owe me 1500 plus interest. That's uh, 1750 Suppose I just forgive the interest and tear up your marker and give you a couple of hundred bucks walking around money. Well, I'd still have to know what I was hauling. Uh. Booze for the ghetto, untaxed. <laughs> Them people get thirsty too. Uh, broker, that's federal. There's no guys to do time for that sort of thing. Well, there's a certain amount of risk to any business proposition. <laughs> it's risky owing me money. I just drive it and drop it, huh? Uh huh. You don't even have to look at it. All you got to do is just hitch up a trailer at this end and unhitch it at the other. I don't know, broker. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, suit yourself. I'm calling in your note this week. Where Chico is. How much of it you got so far? <clears throat> So, you have your rig at my place midnight tonight, hmm? Okay, broker. Good boy. Most promising rider. <laughs> you just full of promises, aren't you, Bob?
Hmm. That's my daughter. Hmm. Pretty little thing, ain't she? Midnight tonight, huh, Bobby? Changed my mind. I can't do it. <laughs> You're dumber than I thought you were, Bob. Well, you got till Saturday, then I want my money. Saturday, you hear me? too messy for me. I said I'll take it. Yeah. Look, anything you got going anywhere, I want it. As long as it's cash on the dash, right? Great. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you at seven. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Ernie, can you fill that for me, please? You bet. Thank you. Sounds like you're going to be a busy man. Well, broker said Saturday at midnight. With any luck, I'll make it. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Ernie. Okay. And you, I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>
I did it. <laughs> I can go home. Well, I'd say it's about time. Mm. Hello, broker. Saturday come and gone, Bobby. Fellow's beginning a long, sad story. Forget about it. Then I'll make it short and simple for you. I don't like you, broker. You enjoy making people crawl too much. That's why I don't advertise. Oh. Oh. You missed Saturday, deadbeat. Broker, would you feed your pet ape a banana? I came to settle up. Let him go, Chico. <clears throat> so, oh, yeah. Fifteen hundred. <clears throat> Plus interest makes it seventeen fifty. And that's if you paid Saturday. Today's an extra fifty. <clears throat> I compound daily. All right, are we all square? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a little extra business. What's that for? This. Worth every penny. Cost of doing business, Chico. Look at that. Where'd you get all that? I robbed the bank. <laughs> I earned a trucking. Four straight days of turnaround. Did my own swapping once, too. Gosh, wish I could have been with you. Well, I got some plans for you and me this summer. Want to hear about them? Sure. Okay. I'm going to ask Al to see if your mom will let you spend summer vacation with me. Do you think she'll do it? Well, I think it's up to us. We have to work real hard to prove to your mama that uh, we're really trying. <laughs> when will you know? Well, pretty soon, I hope. What's that? Four o'clock. Well, I promised Miss Miles I'd have you back before study hall. Is there a pizza place around here? Yeah, but it ain't as good as spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> what is? Here, why don't you treat some of your friends to pizza and then get out of here before I get in trouble. Mm. Mm. Bye. Mm. Love you. Love you, too. Mardi Gras and Super Bowl MVP all rolled into one. Are you going to start lecturing me now for crying out loud? No, no, I'm just trying to get you to see something. Now, you did what you said you'd do for once. You made your own luck and it turned out good. You free your broker and you got a few dollars ahead. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. But if anybody was ever the walk and talk and image of easy come, easy go, honey, it's you. Okay, look, sissy. I paid off broker. I paid my rent. I'm two payments ahead on my truck. I finally got some room to think. And what'd you come up with? Okay. I'm going to keep working hard on my trucking. Good. I'm going to work hard to convince Lana that I'm responsible enough to take Annie for summer vacation. Mm -hmm. That's good, too. And I'm going to get back to racing. Is racing really that important to you, Bobby? Yeah, it is. Why? Because it's what I do best. Okay. Okay what? I'm all for it. I'm with you a thousand percent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> when are we get married? Why don't you quit asking me that the same way you asked me if I want to go get Chinese food? <laughs> that was my next question. <laughs> Chinese food, yes. 
Marriage, uh, I think you got enough to worry about right now. Well, am I going to quit asking? Oh, you better not. Hey, sissy, wake up. Come on, wake up. Wake up. I got a great idea. Come on, wake up. Huh? Huh? Wake what up. are you so talking about? Well, come on, I'll show you. All right? You awake? All right. I built my own bike. You're a real prize, Atkins. You know that? I mean, you, you buy a girl expensive presents, get her all softened up on Chinese food, take advantage of her. Then she finds out the whole time you were thinking about motorcycles instead of love. Well, oh, that's not exactly true. Half the time I was thinking about making a deal for some free racing tires. One good motorcycle out of all this junk. Junk, don't say junk in front of the boys here. You'll hurt their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to the winner of this year's Firecracker Supercross. Amen to that. Yeah. work that's nothing to be ashamed of Lana did Al get a chance to talk to you about about Annie and summer vacation yes he did what'd you say I said I'd see could you be a little more definite I mean I did promise Annie that oh Bobby I hope you didn't promise her that summer with you was a sure thing Lana I'm trying real hard Bobby, in the five years we were married, I must have seen you reform 50 times. Now, I'm not saying no about this, but I'm certainly not ready to say yes. You know, I sure wish we could talk about things better. Talk. Bobby, there is so much that I'd want to say to you that I've saved up. It's best just to leave things be, at least between us. We still got something between us. That's Annie. In spite of everything, I'll always be thankful to you. Well? <clears throat> well, what do you 
waiting on? <laughs> All right. Better with gas. What did you turn? Fifty-seven minutes squeak. Not so good. Well, what do you expect? It's a brand new bike, and all the parts are old. Fifty-seven and some. Hell, he ain't worth worrying about. Let's get out of here. Hear your time? No. Uh, I was out of shape as an old fat lady. Well, you want to take it around again, Bobby? What, are you kidding? This thing wouldn't make it another lap. Timing's off. The suspension's all screwed up. What we need is somebody knows what they're doing. Well, you know what you're doing. Oh, babe. It's all delicate stuff from here on in. What about Scooter? Scooter Lee? <laughs> well, that's a hot one. How do you sober him up? I don't know. But if we could, he's the best there is. That ain't no bull. He'd for sure make us go fast. Yeah. All right, there he is. We better not all go up at once. He's gonna think he owes us money. He does. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what do you say, Scooter? Bobby, hey. <laughs> What are you drinking? Have a beer. Sure you don't want to chase her with that? <laughs> no, beer's fine. Roy, a couple beers over here. Put a bourbon back on mine, would you? I ever see you ride lately. Oh, I've been on the road a lot. Been doing a lot of trucking. You didn't quit racing that motorcycle, did you? <laughs> no. Matter of fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. I entered the firecracker. Hey, congratulations. All right. Who gave you the ride? Well, actually, I built my own bike. The trouble is, it's still just a bike. It's not a mean racing machine. Well, <laughs> that's the trick. Mm-hmm. And you know those tricks, Scooter. Like you'd be my setup man. I'll cut you in for 25%. Well, oh, I, Bobby, I, I'm not the man I used to be. At... No, the way they build them things these days, I wouldn't know where to start. I think it all come back to you. Well, maybe. But you, you need a lot of money for those. You, you got that? Some. Still working. What do you say? Come in with me? Oh. But I have to see what you built. Fine. Mm. Let's go. All right. How's that bad, huh? No, no, it sounds pretty good considering it's my head. Right. <laughs> you want something to drink, a beer, a hair of the dog? No, no, a man oughtn't to drink unless he's got nothing else to do. I got this. The deal? You got it. All right. I don't want to see you taking any drink either till after the race. One thing to get this motorcycle fixed up, but if you ain't in shape to ride it, ain't no good. Whatever you say, boss. What do we do first? First, tear it down, start over. Let's go. Put <clears throat> one in here. All right. How come you get the bicycle? I'm the one that's going to be riding in the firecracker. You heard what Scooter said. You got to do at least a mile. That's for your leg strength. Yeah. Well, how far are we going so far? Oh, about 400 feet. <laughs> funny. Funny. Come on, let's go. Well, who's here? No white and seven dwarfs. You know, there is something basically insecure about a man who can't go anywhere without a dozen toadies dancing all around him. Yeah. You see that guy in the blue jacket? It's Junior Preston. Never heard of him. Well, he used to cheat the Honda team. Now he builds bikes freelance. He doesn't come cheap. Well, Bo Wiggins always did throw around a lot of money. 
just bought himself first place in the firecracker. Junior Preston's the best there is. Better than Scooter Lee? Uh, maybe, maybe not. All I don't know is he just put together three world championships in a row. Let's go. Hey, Bo, what's that? There's Slowpoke Atkins. Well, Bobby. You got a minute? Come over here, will you? I want you to meet the great Junior Preston. Hmm. That Junior's going to be going to work for him. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bobby. Oh, Bobby does some racing around here on occasion. Really? That's great. Uh, by the way, Bobby, how's that new bike of yours doing? I understand you got it up to 35 miles an hour the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I better be going. Nice to meet you, Mr. President. Thank you, Bobby. See you around. If you want to make sure a pretty lady gets home safe, you ought to leave with us, slow boat. Break his neck. Buster Smith. If you had half the brains as you are stupid, you could be a rocket scientist. Did you know that? But you told me that thing wouldn't be ready till tomorrow. Well, that's what I told you, so you'd quit riding my back pocket so I could finish. Well, what do you want to do? You want to stand around here and smile about it, or you want to go check out the bike? Let's go check it out. <laughs> a damn gearbox. That extra power is chewing it up. I was afraid of that. You know, a guy can fix anything with spit and coat hanger except a gearbox that takes cold cash. How much? A thousand. I don't have that much. Three hundred, that's about it. It's enough to drive a man to drink. Well, let's not do that. Maybe I'll take another crack at broker. Oh, no, you don't want to get mixed up with that bloodsucker. Side sissy to have a fit. <laughs> What do you think about a little pre-race racing? Well, are you kidding? This thing wouldn't beat Al Singer's exercise. I'm not talking about this motorcycle. I'm talking about street racing in my pickup. <laughs> now, come on. She may not look like too much, but I got stuff under the hood there put anybody else on their ear. Now, I know a few boys down to Albemarle think they can beat me. What do you say? I do the driving? I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, let's do it.
you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry about a thing. You sure you're sure? Bobby, we're gonna blow their doors off. Now, come on. junk out there in the parking lot. I'll take 50 of that. Sam, hold the money. Let's make them happy. Now, wait a second. I never did know one of them foreign jobs that could beat an honest American sitting in Detroit iron. For, say, a thousand dollars? One thousand three hundred and fifty. Sam? What are you, nuts? Hold the money. Let's go. Just to make things interesting, let's make this a real race. From here to the city limits line, loop around the quarry bed, and back. Where is he? I think he left him back there by the railroad track. Turn off the lights. What? Kill the lights. Why? Because you think it lost us and it'll start slowing down. That's the way one finds you. You're one of them
Thanks for the lift, Red. <laughs> Least I could do. You boys turned a boring evening into a pretty big thing. Sorry about that, Bobby. It's all my fault. No, oh, hey, we both went into this with our eyes wide open. Don't worry about it, all right? See you later. just cared if the pleats stayed in their skirts or if their hair came out right. Well, you're going back right now. No, Daddy, I hate that place. I want to be with you. Annie, you didn't think this through, hon. And we got plans for this summer, remember? If your mama finds out... That... Mama's never going to let me live with you. Annie, that's not true. I thought you were my friend. Hey, Bobby is your friend, but he's also your father. He only wants what's best for you, Annie. You ain't my mother, so stay out of this. Hey, now you listen to me, young lady. You're gonna do two things. Number one, you're gonna apologize to Sissy for talking to her like that. And number two, you're gonna get whatever stuff you brought down here and put it on that truck. And you're going back to school and that's the end of it, you understand? Go ahead. Now go on. you could have done, Bobby. Well, why does she have to act like I'm taking her to jail? Hey, Annie's a ten-year-old. She'll get over it. Scooter, what are you doing in here? Boy, I was wondering how long you two were going to leave me here to work where you were out gallivanting around. You have qualification in two days, you know. Well, I thought we were out of business. Well, we were. Unless we got a brand new gearbox, then we got a brand new gearbox. When the hell we get that? A uh, scooter. Is this? Ha! <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's the best stuff I find for cleaning the gunk off of parts. <laughs> oh. So where did you get the gearbox, Scooter? Yeah, better yet, where'd you get the money for it? I sold my pickup. Your what? I sold my pickup. Fixed the rear axle on it, took it down to Bo Wiggins, and he gave me fifteen hundred dollars for it. Fifteen? It's worth twice that. Not huh? after we took it out of the pond. Of course, don't tell that guy down to Bo Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> In a little while, that rear end's gonna fall out of that thing. When they go to fix it, they're gonna find. One, two catfish up there, maybe an old mud turtle. <laughs> There's a kind of poetry in it, too, don't you think? Bo Wiggins is financing the gearbox to the motorcycle that's going to beat him in the firecrack. <laughs> that yeah. <is>? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Here he is, folks, the last rider in the Dash for Cash. A single rider, one lap for $1,000. Privateer entry of Bobby Atkins. He's riding for it. Hey, get this. Atkins lead for Getty, Davis, and Davis. That's not a race team, that's a law firm. And there goes Atkins. He dropped the hammer. He nailed it. Sport dirt toward the number one corner. I feel very confident. That's how I feel. I've got the best equipment money can buy. I've got Junior Preston, and, uh, well, to be honest with you, I don't think there's anybody out here that can beat me. Shut 
118.5 was held by Bo Wiggins. Well, Bo, uh, what do you think of Bobby Atkins breaking your track record? One lucky lap doesn't mean anything. I'm not worried about Atkins. Oh, but as fast as he is... Fast doesn't get it. Besides, he doesn't have what it takes as a competitor or as a man. But, Bo, you're... That's all I got to say. She went like a dream, man. Isn't it, though? All right, get off. All right. Let me check these cables. All right, the clutch is slipping a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm really got is okay, team, yeah. turn them and get them. Oh, ah. Now they're the real team. Yeah, yeah. just like that jackass bull wig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get her? Uh, hey, Ernie, oh, where's the pepperoni? Oh.
And here comes the guest of honor way down the track in the pickup trucks. The riders that will shortly take to the track for Firecracker Supercross action. There's Bobby Atkins. His performance in the Dash for Cash has certainly made him a favorite today. And not only is Bobby the favorite on the track, but he's the favorite for the fans. And here comes Bo Wiggins. Typical Bo. He has his own car and private trophy girl. Hey, Bo! Did you bring those from home or did you find them out in the crowd? Bobby Atkins. Bo Wiggins. Two of the top privateers in the country. They're here at Buffalo Speedway for the Firecracker. Scooter, how's the bike here? Check it. Well, you know, it's never right, but I think it'll work. You seen Sissy around? No. Oh, she did say she's gone into town on an errand. Hey, Bobby, good luck out there today. Yo, Bobby, get on it. Look who's here. Oh. Hey, ah. I got here just in time, huh? That's Mom. right now. I got my whole thing. And guess what? Mommy says I can spend my whole summer vacation with you. Thanks, Al. Don't thank me. Ladies worked out some kind of deal. Thanks, Lana. What? I said thank you, Lana. Don't forget your hat, Annie. Hey, why don't you go say hi to Scooter? He's been missing you. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Al. Don't drive too fast. Yeah. Thanks, Al. Thank you. This was all your idea, wasn't it? Love you, girl. Your attention in the pits. All riders report to the staging area for the start of the Firecracker Supercross main event. Folks, we're about to get underway with the Firecracker Supercross main event. Riders are leaving the staging area and moving to their starting positions. And in the field today, an added attraction. Factory riders Brock Glover, Kent Howerton, Brad Lackey, and John Savitsky. Between them, they've won 13 national and one world championship. But they're going to have their hands full with our local favorites, privateer Bo Wiggins. He's riding number 22. And his longtime rival, Bobby Atkins, riding a scooter lead prepared machine. Good to have you back, Scooter. Hey, yeah, I you better watch yourself. It's going to be a long day. Gentlemen, start your engines.
Zachary Weiss. Here comes Brad Lackey, Ken Howerton, Brock Glover, Zabisky, and back in the pack, and he's fired in traffic. If he's going to do anything here today, he's got to get into the gas. It's Bobby Atkins. Meanwhile, Wiggins continues to hold off the hard-charging battery riders. Howerton is not used to running second in any kind of a race. And here he is in the local track with a local rider putting it on him. Every 
trick in the book to get by Bobby Atkins, but every time he tries one, Atkins throws it right back in his face. They're on the last lap, but still, the bumping, the pushing, the shoving goes on in the corner. Look at this, side by side, off the top of the jump. How long can they keep this up without one of them going down? I've never seen riding this far. His Wiggins on the inside, Atkins on the outside, off the jump, and look at that! Wiggins goes down! He tried one trick too many. Bobby Atkins is all alone out in front. Wiggins, less than a lap to go down. Wiggins is still charging through the pack. 